Well, we know all about the smartphone, but what do we know about the smart car? Intel is innovating in that area, taking us into the era of the intelligent car, and that's through advanced sensing and interconnected data, creating a transportation system that knows who we are and where we want to go. Doug Davis, he's vice president of Intel's Internet of Things group, joins us now. Welcome. Thank you. Some fascinating stuff in the video that I watched. Um, tell me about this whole area that you're innovating. So today we're, we're announcing that we're creating a platform that, that speeds the time to bring new features and capabilities into cars. You know, we, we all love our applications on phones, tablets, as you described, but more and more we, we want new features in cars, but we want to be able to use those features in a way that's, that's also safe. And so as we think about innovation, the way that that we interact with cars as, as we do more and more things, both as the driver and the occupants, uh, as well as the way in which cars begin to interact with each other. And we're seeing some interesting things around autonomous cars, right? Those kinds yeah. of technologies are also starting to come into vehicles. Okay, and so you said you, you sped the time up, so what kind of timing are we talking about? Well, if you, if you think about the development of cars, right, you need to make them safe, you need to make them reliable, the automakers have a very deliberate process in developing new platforms for cars, and it takes quite a while. But the pace of innovation in consumer electronics is, is pretty yeah. fast. And we, the demand, right? And the demand. And so we want to be able to shorten that development time. So what we're providing to the automakers is, is an integration of some of the basic building blocks that are, are necessary for those systems to help them add their additional features and their integration in, in a shorter time window. Okay, give me some of the highlights. Like what can we expect to see in the future that would fascinate us about our car of the future? Well, it's, it, it's a car beginning to recognize who we are, right? I get in and, and it knows it's me. <laughs> it's Doug getting in the car and it knows where I need to go. It knows when I need to be there. But then it can also begin to recognize other people that are occupants in the car as well. And, and so that I don't have kind of fixed content in, in the car. Mm -hmm. You know, if my kids have their playlist, right, it, it, it's immediately available uh, to them. The, the, all of the kinds of uh, uh, interactive applications that we like using, the, the ability to communicate through different means, but to do it in a safe fashion, right? And, and those are the kinds of things we'll start seeing coming into cars more and more. Yeah. Um, how competitive is this uh, industry now? I mean, of course, the automakers are uh, hungry to get this developed. Do you have a lot of competition? We do. There, you know, these systems have been evolving over many, many years. So there are uh, other competitors of ours who, who've been developing these systems. But as we see the transition that's happening with more and more new applications, the ability to adapt applications and then increasingly as, as autonomous or self-driven types of functions come into cars, oh, God. that requires a lot of computing to yeah. be able to do that. And that's what Intel does really well. We, we deliver Moore's Law, so we deliver high performance computing and, and we see that the convergence of all these things requires more and more high performance processors and automobiles and, and that's why we're investing in this space and we're really optimistic about where it's headed. All right, Doug. Well, I'm excited, too, to see what Intel does in this area going forward. Great. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot.